All right, guys, so I already know that I need to cut this leg off on the mounting bracket for the intake manual, or for the shaker, I should say. So I'm gonna go ahead and get cutting on that, and then I'm gonna see how it fits inside the engine bay, and then I'll get back with you guys in a second. see me cut the leg off that is off air tools suck and I'm glad I got this electric grinder because it did it in like two seconds it's the porter cable grinder I got that and I just got that one because I already had porter cable power tools it was cheap cheaper than the craftsman tools that I was gonna buy because I like craftsman stuff but as you see this air pump sucks it was good when I was doing the exhaust for some things but the tank is too small and it runs out of pressure too quick and the motor can't keep up the pressure to actually use it for anything so i just use the uh, electric grinder but i got the mounting bracket for the 6.4 shaker on and what i had to do is i took off this bracket that was right here it was just sitting there not serving any type of purpose so that's off and with the back leg cut off, this fits perfect. And if anything, I probably had to get the 392 shaker anyway, because you can see how the mounting bracket conforms over here. I believe this is the PCV valve, I think. Um, but the bolt holes on the block, so the, the mounting points on the 57 and the 392 are all the same, obviously, because I have the 392 intake manifold on it. But as you can see here, there's another mounting spot where I should get another bolt to fit in there. And then in the back of the engine, you just trust me on this, where the legs would meet up at, there's a, another point to, yeah, you guys can't see it. There's another point back there where other nuts screw on a couple of bolts to secure this whole bracket down. But so far it all fits and I'm very happy about that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mount the shaker onto there and then I'm gonna see how that fits. I'm gonna close the hood. I'm gonna see if there's clearance and if I'm gonna have to trim anything else or if I can just start cutting the hood. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so, so far, just a rough estimate of how this shaker will fit. Um, I had the shaker piece completely on here and I took measurements because this back wall right here 
gets in the way of the shaker actually sitting flush inside of the engine bay. The mounting brace sits fine, but if I want the shaker to fit and bolt up correctly here and there, as you see, it all bolts up fine. I'm gonna have to trim out this piece. I made a notch here and I made a notch here to where I can cut this part out and I should be able to fit the shaker, the actual shaker piece itself along this back wall fine. So I hope that's true because this black piece right here, I don't want to touch. The only thing that goes right here is a rain seal. And if anything, I'm fine. I could probably just slap the rain seal back on. It won't have from here to there to sit on. But if it's there, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. And it's a shaker water gets in it but it has drainage passageways as well so i'm gonna cut this portion out and then i'm gonna see how it all fits
All right, YouTube. I don't know if the GoPro caught everything I was doing. I hate this thing, um, but it fits. It took some trimming here and there, but this back, this back wall piece, if you guys see. So from here back, I can show you all across the back of the shaker, all the way to right there. I cut it all out. It was like uh, aluminum and fiberglass, whatever this stuff is. But it clears just enough so that right here on the back piece, this plastic piece that is visible from the outside, you don't have to touch that. And that's what I was praying for because that's what it looked like when I was looking at the Dodge Durango from SEMA in 2016. It looked like all they had to do is take out this back portion, but not touch this. So. With that said, it fits. All I would have to do is cut the hood, but I'm waiting on, there's like a black bezel piece that fits on the top of the hood. But, let's just go ahead and rest that there. And if I try and see, it looks like it clears. It clears perfectly. So from about here forward to wherever around here that I'll have to cut out. But it looks like this part of metal I won't have to touch. So I'll have to take out this liner, um, pop all of these pieces out. I still will have to do something about this AC line. I flipped my throttle body around because... Uh, the motor was over here sticking up, but it won't fit with the shaker on top. However, because I had to extend my wires in the first place to make the 6.4 intake manifold fit, everything is fine. I'll have to do something about the tubing of the throttle body onto the air box. Let me go ahead and grab that right now. I could possibly show you guys what I was talking about. So, if you look... From here, it looks it it it's almost like the air box wants to go there. But it has the clearance. However, as you can see, the AC line it's sitting on top of it. So that's that's one problem. I had a suggestion that maybe I just cut this portion out so I don't have to touch the AC line. Possibly. I might do that. And then here on the water wash bottle. This plastic notch is kind of digging into it. I could, and it's also the cap, so I would have to probably cut into this part of the air box again so I can utilize it. But so far, I am super happy with how this is turning out. Like I said, it's gonna be a work in progress, but it's gonna happen. I'm gonna make it happen. This is the Summit Shaker. Jeep Summit Shaker, Shaker Jeep jeep shaker whatever you want to call it it's gonna happen so if you guys like what you see like and subscribe hit that share button you ain't never seen anything like this before and once again guys thank you for coming to team mopar